Hi, my name's Kristen, I'm the bear keeper. Today we are going to be making some sundaes and some ice cream cones for the bears. So what we're doing, I'm gonna make bowls out of their bear chow. So I'm gonna grind that up in our food processor and add a few frozen blueberries for moisture. And then I'll form that into the bowls and freeze it for a few hours just so that it holds. And then I'm gonna also do the same thing with cones. And then for the banana ice cream, I sliced bananas and froze them yesterday. And then today we're gonna puree those up in our food processor with a little bit of peanut butter. And it blends really smooth. So we'll just scoop some of our banana ice cream in here. and add a little peanut butter topping and then we'll freeze it overnight. All right, so it's been overnight and now the ice cream has set. So we are gonna get it ready to give to the bears on exhibit. Well, we have added some peanuts and some oats. So when we're putting the enrichment out on the exhibit, we do wanna make sure we are scattering the items that we've made into different areas um, in front of windows so that the guests can see the bears enjoy their fun enrichment and also far enough apart that there's no possession over food. We do want each of the bears to get their own sundae and their own ice cream cones and whatever other enrichment we do put out. So we do scatter that about. Carnivores to cat Sam, we're ready for the bears. I think the bears really enjoyed their ice cream this morning. I think Dodge gave it a 10 out of 10, and Montana ate an ice cream cone and then went straight for a sundae, and Cody in the background looked like she really enjoyed her sundae as well. Also on the exhibit, I put out some ice blocks that I made yesterday. It had some grapes and strawberries and oranges, some oats, parts of their diet. The oats were the extra part of the enrichment, and then I froze that with just water overnight, and then we put those on the exhibit. Today on a hot day, ice treats are really important for all of the animals, and it's also a way to prolong them from eating all of their diet all within 10 minutes. Bears eat super fast, so anything we can do to prolong their feed is really good. It makes the enrichment last a lot longer. A lot of the ingredients I use for their enrichment is already part of their diet, and instead of just scattering their diet out on an exhibit, same old, same old every day, I like to take those ingredients and make something fun, something different every day. It's enrichment for the bears, it's something different that they don't always get, and it's also enriching for me. I like to use my creative abilities to make lots of fun enrichment. So like I said, you can also make this for your dogs at home. Dogs can have bananas, they can have peanut butter, they can have blueberries, and you can use their kibble, their dry food, blend it up in a food processor, add a little water for moisture or some blueberries like I did. Every Wednesday and Friday at 10.15 this summer, you can come and watch the bears in person, get some really fun enrichment items. I create fun things like this all the time.